So over the last year or so, I've become obsessed with vertical mount 48 volt batteries, like the Power Pro. But server rack batteries like this are still the number one seller. And it blows my mind because these actually cost more now, but people still keep buying them. And mounting a server rack and sliding these batteries in can be quite difficult, especially compared to a vertical mount battery that you just roll in and you plop wherever you want against a wall. Those take up less space, they're cheaper, and I think they're better. But these are the number one seller. People love server rack batteries. And what we have in front of us is version two. This is the latest server rack battery, and this is the budget model. So you'll notice that this one does not have a screen on the front, but the rest of the battery is just like the more expensive battery now because they added more features. So first off, they upgraded the terminals, and these things are huge. The ones previously were much smaller. Next, we have a beefier DC rated circuit breaker, and they should have done this a long time ago. Next, the communication port area has been updated drastically. It looks pretty much like the more expensive version of this battery. We have a communication protocol selector DIP switch, and the identifier switch is much larger now. So previously, you only had four of these, now you have six. So that means you can connect more batteries in parallel. Then below that, we have a USB input for LCD, so you can actually connect your own screen now. Next, on the older model, it only had RS-485, but on the new version, it has CAN bus and dedicated battery COM ports with these little lights. These are actually the same ones that are on the more expensive model. Now, in the last version, you would use the breaker to turn the battery on and off, but on this one, it's the same as the more expensive server rack batteries where you have a dedicated on and off switch. Now on the older version, you couldn't legally install it in some places because it did not have rapid shutdown or RSD. But on the new version, it has RSD and it's called emergency stop. So what that does is that the communication system, if it sees that there's something wrong with this battery, it will shut down your entire system. And it's only present on this new version. So that means you can use budget batteries to install in places like California. So that's a big upside for some of you guys. Next, the new version actually has a 10-year warranty. Previously, it was only five for the budget model. So this has the same warranty as the more expensive server rack battery that they sell. Next, the cells that they're using are rated for 6,000 cycles with a depth of discharge of 80%. That's pretty typical. I think they're using the same cells as before. So I screwed up. I should have done this from the start. I should have put them side by side because the differences are actually more extreme than I can really show in those pictures. I took some pictures of this one and I was like, wow, this build quality is garbage compared to the new one. And this one used to be the best thing we had when it first came out, but now it's pretty dated. Let me put them sideways just to show you what I mean. So on the old version, they just had a sheet of metal with these screws that stuck up a lot and the handles do not fold. And even on the corners, the metal actually sticks up. You can bend it. And you just have some cheap screws holding everything together on the front. Now compare it to this one. The sheet on the top is bent and made for it. The screws are flush and flat. And the panels are not sticking up anywhere. The handles also fold and these terminals are massive. And the screws for the breaker are not exposed either. So yeah, this is a totally different battery. So now we're gonna open up both of them and see the differences side by side. Ooh, this thing is freaking nice. This is totally different. What in the world? So where do we start? On the older one, you had these cheap pieces of plastic and these straps holding the cells together. But on the new one, you actually have cell holders and they're massive. And they're not even using the same cells. But on the spec sheet, it says that these are rated for 6,000 cycles with a depth of discharge of 80%. That might be why they have a longer warranty compared to the old one. Next, all the balance leads are torqued and they're marked, but on these ones, they're actually glued. Now on the old version, they had this massive cable and they had this huge crimp right here with multiple cables, but luckily they've gotten rid of all of this. On the new one, you have one cable over here and one cable over here. Now on the older version, the BMS was screwed to the front plate, including the heat sink. Now compare that to the new one. The BMS has its own cage and it's mounted to its own piece of metal right here next to the cells. And the communication board is separate from the BMS. 
And over here we have the precharge resistor. Also the heat sink for the BMS is not touching the cells and there's a big piece of metal. So yeah, this is better than using the front plate by far. And just looking at them side by side, there's just a massive difference in build quality here. I mean, considering the price of this new battery, that is incredible. Now for the last feature on the new battery, it has fire arresters built in, and this is for code compliance. So if something were to go wrong and there was some type of fire, which these are lithium iron phosphates, so they can't really cause a self-propagating thermal runaway, but the electrolyte can burn. So if you were to shove this into a fire or your house was on fire, these would help to cool things off. But even with a steel case and without fire arresters, lithium iron phosphate is very safe and they do not pose the same risk as other lithium batteries. This is as safe as having a stack of wood inside of a steel case. They can technically combust if you get them to a high enough temperature, but this chemistry does not create or release its own oxygen. So the thermal runaway is not even hot enough to get a piece of paper on fire. So I want people to understand that even though it has fire arresters, they're pretty much unnecessary for lithium iron phosphate and this is for code compliance. Also the BMS is entirely different. So I know they have the same name and it's the new version, but this is a completely different battery. Pretty much everything is different. Even how they line up these switches on the front, these ones are a little crooked. These ones are shifted to the right and this one is recessed. All of these are flush and look like they're meant to be that way. Now I got this battery a couple weeks ago and I really didn't care that much about it. And I was like, all right, so you made bigger terminals and has rapid shutdown. I really don't care. But this is on a completely different level and I'm actually pretty impressed with it. But I still like vertical mount batteries more. I think those are fantastic. They look so much nicer than the server rack batteries but these are pretty popular still, so people still like these. Maybe it's because of the size, you know, the Power Pro is huge, it's over 300 pounds. But if you put it on wheels, then I think it's easier to move than these, even though these are 100 pounds, because you actually have to lift these and slide them into the rack. So personal preference, but the new version is better. They did a good job. This is by far better than the older version. So I'm pretty proud, especially for the price. These batteries are still coming down in price and it's pretty impressive. Now that's pretty much it for this video, but I would like to tell you guys one more thing. I have a forum and if you ever have a problem with any of these products, please post it on my forum. Lots of people can see and then we can reach out to the manufacturer and see if they can make changes or prevent the problem from happening again in the future. So thank you so much for watching. I'll have links down below for these batteries and my favorite batteries. So yeah, check those out and I will see you in the next video. Bye.